Hi students, welcome back. Again, this is Eunice Mathis. I'm the nurse educator with Florida Training Academy, and we're on part three of our orientation video, which will explain to you how to utilize the Google resources page. So if you'll bear with me, I'm going to share my screen. All right, everyone, this is our Google resource page. It's Florida Train Academy's online CNA exam preparation resources. This is a Google-based online resource site. So if you are not logged into your Gmail or Google email account, you will receive an error message when trying to access this page. In addition, we have to send you an invitation. That means that we have to actually add your email address into our database um, in order for you to access the link. I'm simply going to just move my um, screen down so um, we can focus on the first page. The first page or the main tab is the Certified Nursing Assistant Exam Prep tab. And when you scroll down, there's going to be some information reminding you to be mindful of patient safety as you're performing your skills. But it also lets you know what information can be found on your um, resource page. And as we progress throughout this year, I'll be adding more information. Um, so just keep checking back even once you are licensed as a CNA, this may be a good resource for you. All right, so here we have our orientation and exam overview. And there, once you click on this, it's going to take you to a separate tab. The second bullet states that we have a full length clinical CNA exam skills video, which is below. Um, yes, this video has been uploaded to YouTube. However, YouTube does not have the full video listed as a uh, public video. So the only way that you can see the full video is to access the Florida Train Academy's um, resource page. Medical terminology is also found on this site. We have practice questions information about or pertaining to caring for your resident and also your fast track study tips which are below. So these notes are the same ones that we will be issuing to you or that we have issued to you during your CNA exam prep course. It's just an easier, more focused way to, um, you know, to study, um, but it is available to you on this website just in case something should happen and you lose your notes. If you need to contact us, our website is below. And in addition to our website being below, our phone number is also below. So this is all the information that's on the first page. If you're on your smart device, such as your cell phone, um, when you go to the right-hand corner, there should be more tabs. The first tab we're going to click on is going to be the CNA exam practice questions. We do not know the exact questions that are on the Florida CNA exams database, but what I can tell you is that our students who have practiced our questions, who study keywords and medical terminology, um, they breeze through the written examination. As a reminder from part one, our first orientation overview video, you have a practice question, a practice test, excuse me, you have a, a CNA written examination that has 60 practice I keep saying practice, 60 multiple choice questions on it. Your exam does not have practice questions. It has the real questions. So I apologize for that. But our website does have practice questions. And we have uh, one, two, three. We have three sets of questions here that have rationales. The second two links are more interactive questions that will provide um, rationales. So here we have approximately 100 questions. And then whenever you keep scrolling down your page, you'll find an additional 210 practice questions, which are broken into um, increments of 70. So there are three different sets of um, question or test, each with 70 questions each. And when you get to the bottom of your first set of 70, you will have your rationales. If there's something you don't understand or something you just can't figure out, feel free to shoot us an email with the questions and then we can we can assist you. And our email address is admin, A-D-M-I-N, at fltraining.com. So you have, you know, a couple of hundred uh, practice questions that are free and available for you. Um, so thank you for being a student at Florida Training Academy. 
The next tab that we're going to discuss is caring for residents. And on this tab, we'll be discussing the CNA roles and responsibilities. So a lot of useful information. It talks about your role, how you can't give medications. You don't perform sterile techniques. Um, so here we have our role limits for nursing assistance. It's going to talk about HIPAA, which is your confidentiality act. Um, what do you do if, you're, if you find something abnormal on a client or on a resident? What do you do if there's an emergency? Well, you always want to race. You want to RACE. You want to rescue the resident or the patient. You want to pull the fire alarm or maybe you want to alert someone by calling 911. If you can't close off any doors to confine the fire, C would be confined. And then lastly is either E where you're going to, it is E, but you're either going to extinguish. And if you cannot extinguish the fire, you're going to evacuate. Um, you know, so infection control, care plans, sexuality with the elderly pressure sores just gives you a whole bunch of information so please take advantage of this resource and do study it before your examination. And additional tabs that we have are, it'll be here under more. So whenever we select more, we can select medical terminology. Your examination really won't ask you for a definition. Like for example, it won't ask you what anal incontinence is, but there may be a question uh, related to incontinence. And so incontinence is actually the opposite of retention. So if someone's retaining urine, they'll usually have bladder distension or the lower part of their abdomen will be distended. If someone has anal um, retention, that means they're constipated. So you wanna make sure you understand the terminology. So when someone is incontinent, they can't control um, the, the passage of their bowels or their bladder, so they may be wet. As a CNA, how would you prevent someone from being incontinent on themselves? Well, a great answer is to take them to the bathroom more frequently. Um, some of your facilities are diaper-free, so we cannot expect a person to wear incontinent briefs. Um, and then we don't put catheters in patients for convenience. A catheter is a flexible medical device, which you'll learn about in, in the course. Um, and when we put that in a patient, we increase their chances of getting an infection. So um, here we can eliminate the infection. We can eliminate the moisture on the patient's skin simply by having the CNA take the resident to the bathroom them more frequently. So as you do your studies, um, if you can do any um, prefix um, or if you can study any prefixes, that will also help you with your test. When you see hypo, H-Y-P-O in front of something, that normally means it's low. Um, if you see hyper in front of something, that means it's high or excessive. Think of hyperactivity. When you see DYS in front of a medical term, that usually means that it's painful. So when you think about the term dysuria, DYS related to pain and urea related to um, you know, the urinary system or urine, this person is having painful urination. Well, think about what medical conditions would cause dysuria. And the first one you know, that comes to my mind would be a urinary tract infection. Well, as a CNA, according to the roles that you saw um, under the tab caring for residents, a CNA does not give medications. So how would a CNA help a patient who has dysuria. Well, you can increase fluids. Um, you can make sure that we're providing the proper hygiene by wiping in the right direction. And um, we can also give cranberry juice. So think of those natural things that we can do for a patient that does not involve medication. All right now we're going to go back up and we're going to click on one of the last tabs. And again, this page may be updated by the time you um, have access to it. The last tab is orientation. And this orientation tab kind of goes in, in part with the video, part one of your video, but it also goes along with your workbook. So it's all the information um, in the first few pages of your workbook, but it's here on, on the website. And um, I hope that this helps you, um, helps you become a successful CNA. It helps you as you increase further or um, go further with your medical career. Again, my name is Eunice Mathis. I am a registered nurse. I've been a registered nurse now for 22 years. I'm the owner of Florida Train Academy, and it is going to be our pleasure in helping you earn your CNA license and advance your career. All right, we thank you, and you have a great day. Goodbye.